the debrief meeting, we'll have like say the PM working on it, the designer, the engineering leader, uh, some other folks like stakeholders, like sales stakeholder or legal, whatever. Sometimes we are creating a joint proposal with legal or policy or security, whoever. What happens is the first thing I do is I go around, I ask folks to go around the room and I ask them to just score how that review went from one to 10. And you cannot use seven. You cannot say seven because everybody says seven. It's a safe choice. You cannot say seven. So just score the meeting, how that went and why you scored. And that is very useful because sometimes what happens after these reviews is one person will say, oh, that was a nine. I've had this happen many times. The PM presenting it says that was a nine. It was great. Like I felt really good. And then some stakeholders says, well, actually for me, it was a five. So it's the same meeting that we all attended and we're in the same company, but we walked away with two different impressions and there's no right answer here. It's, it's just based on your gut of how that went. But so, so that's the first thing I do, right? Just go around the room. How did this go and why? Next thing we do is, you know, what is the feedback that you found most useful? And usually in this meeting, I'm actually taking notes because I'm facilitating the meeting and I'm not going to opine very much. I'm just listening. So, uh, so I'll write down like, you know, what is the feedback or the guidance from the CEO or whoever that we found most useful that we're going to use to kind of perhaps change the plan or whatever. What is the feedback that you found most surprising? So that's another aspect. And then the last aspect is we discuss is what is the major follow up that we need that you suggest from the meeting. So each each person shares what is the ma major follow up. What this does is it now creates a lot more alignment. It also creates like a plan for what to do now in order to respond. And lastly, usually some of, at some of these meetings, there are action items that are allocated to people, right? And I want my team to respond to those action items as quickly as possible, right? So it's an opportunity for me to also remind them about the action items or even adapt the action items. Because sometimes even that becomes unclear. Somebody says, oh, wait, I didn't think that was for me. It's like, or, or like, yeah, you know, the CEO asked us to do this, but I don't even understand what the action is. So it's an opportunity for me to explain that. So, so those are the core components of what I discuss in this kind of debrief meeting. And it takes anywhere between 15 minutes to 30 minutes. But the point is you have to schedule it and you have to pre-schedule it right when the product review itself is scheduled so that people's slot doesn't get blocked by something else. Right? So as soon as my habit is, as soon as a product review gets scheduled for my org, I will go in there and add a bunch of people for this debrief meeting and put it in their calendar. And trust me, everybody loves it because it's it's a great way to kind of relax, unwind as well, in addition to sharing this content.